In this video I'm going to explain how to unlock the various pieces of equipment that I'll be using throughout this series of guides. But before that we need to talk about the Legacy Pack. Now, the Legacy Pack, for those who don't know, is essentially all the content from Hitman 1 in 2016, but available to play in the engine from Hitman 2 in 2018. Now the problem is, um, I assumed that every item you could unlock from Season 1 would have a Mark 2 equivalent available in Season 2. And it turns out that some of the items uh, aren't, and particular two that I use. The Krugermeyer Pistol, which is the quietest pistol. It's less accurate than, than others, but it makes almost no sound, so I, I make quite a lot of use of that. And the Seeger Ghost Sniper Rifle, uh, which is um, similar to the other Seeger Sniper Rifles, but does more damage, so it will kill in one hit on any part of the body from any range, more or less, uh, whereas the other Seegers have a damage fall off. So I'm going to explain, before we get to the gear, I'm going to explain what to use instead of those two items and show you a couple of sort of things that you might have to do differently if you don't have access to the items from the Legacy Pack. So instead of the Krugermeyer, use any of the ICA-19 semi-automatic pistols. That's any of the five marked in red here. You can't use the full auto or the full auto stealth. The problem is, if an NPC hears two bullet impacts, they know they're being fired at and they go into an alert. Whereas if they only hear a single bullet impact, they'll investigate it like they would a coin or, or whatever. So you can't use the full autos. Now, because the Krugermeyer is quieter, uh, NPCs will also go into panic and know they're being fired on if they hear a bullet impact and the sound of the gun that fired it. And so with the ICAs being slightly louder than the Krugermeyer, that means in a couple of instances we'll need to deviate from the video guides and I'll explain what to do in those instances now. So in the Silent Assassin suit only run on Miami, instead of shooting the video recordings before you kill Robert Knox, Instead, we're just going to kill Robert Knox with the syringe and then shoot the video recordings on the way out. We shoot them and immediately vault over the rail. That should be completely safe. On the Santa Fortuna Silent Assassin suit only run, instead of shooting through the double doors to take out the security recording, we move to the window to the left. And once the target and her assistant walk away, we can just make out the corner of the security box in instinct mode if we stand at the window. And we just shoot that and then carry on. That way the soldier who's just behind the doors doesn't hear us. On the Isle of Scale Silent Assassin suit only run, we just shoot the box as normal but we need to watch because the guard patrolling over the bridge can hear the shot and come down to investigate. If that happens, once you've shot, just check in instinct mode to see if he's got the question mark, and if he does, just hide over here by the window and wait for him to come down and then head back up. Later in that same run, I lure a guard with a pistol distraction by shooting the wall. Uh, if you're not using the Krugermeyer, you just have to throw a coin to lure that guard instead. Just make sure you get the coin back again after you've knocked him out. Now for the Sniper Assassin runs, if you don't have access to the Seeger Ghost, you'll need to use the Seeger 300 Tactical and make sure you always get a headshot. And here's a montage of me making all the Sniper kills with the Seeger Tactical. Target down. Well done for thing to note is that the Seeger rifles all have the marksman trait so you can hold shift to slow down time briefly which makes the shots a lot easier. And with that out of the way let's talk about the gear and how you unlock it. So you'll start with the fibre wire and coins 
and if you have the legacy pack you'll start with a lockpick otherwise you'll need to complete some Miami mastery to get the lockpick. Uh, briefcase you'll either start with one if you have the legacy pack or the season pass otherwise you get it from finishing Miami. A baton from Colorado mastery or if you haven't got that a fish from Miami mastery will suffice. The meaty bone you get from the We Meet Again achievement, which I have a video linked to show you how to do that. ICA pistols, you'll start with one of those or maybe unlock some more from various legacy packs or DLCs. If not, you can get the silver baller from the Mission Stories Paris challenge and from Mumbai Mastery. The Krugermeyer comes from Bangkok Mastery. The Followed or Stealth ICA 19 is from Colorado Mastery. And if you can't get that, the DAC X2 Covert Pistol is available from Mumbai Mastery. The RS-15 is available from Colorado Mastery. If you can't get that, get the TAC SMG from completing 5 escalations. For sniper rifles, the best option is the Sega 300 Ghost, which you get from completing all 3 levels of the Chaveo Calibration Escalation. If you don't have access to the Game of the Year edition of the Legacy Pack, the Sega 300 sniper rifle is available from Colorado Mastery and the Sega Advanced which plays Ave Maria when you look down the score is available from Hokkaido Mastery. If you don't have access to either of the legacy packs then the Sega 300 tactical is available from Isle of Scale Mastery. The ICA remote explosive is available from either Paris Masteries or Mumbai Masteries depending on which version you get. The Remote Explosive Duck is available from Marrakesh Mastery or from Whittleton Creek Mastery. The Concussion Grenade you get from Maxing Out Miami Mastery and the Proximity Concussion Device is from Whittleton Creek. The Disposable Scrambler for opening electronic locks is available from the Mission Stories Colorado Challenge. And if you can't get that, or you don't want to complete those, then you can get the Electronic Hacker, which is the same item basically from Isle of Scale Mastery. Uh, sedative Poison is available from Paris Mastery, and it's interchangeable with the Sedative Pills from Santa Fortuna Mastery. Likewise, Lethal Poison is available from Paris, but it works exactly the same as the Lethal Pills from Whittleton Creek. And the Lethal Syringe is available from Sapienza Mastery, and the Mark II version of the Syringe is available from the Isle of Scale Mastery. And that's all the gear that you'll need. So I hope you found this uh, helpful, and thanks for watching, and let's get on with the guides themselves.